The NFL playoffs are here, and this matchup on Wild Card Weekend is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Dolphins and the Bats, and it's all up next. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And this, a very important drive, leading in the fourth quarter of this wild card game. But this one far from over as they start out here first down. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. 106 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. The last run got six, now second and four. They'll look to throw here. Pass out left, caught by Woods. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. His first catch of this wild card game, and it's good for a first down. A play action fake. They'll look to throw. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. They'll run with ETM. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. And they gave themselves options there on the third down play and were able to convert on that RPO. Shows a lot of trust with the guy taking the snap, doesn't it? Because you're counting on him to make the right reads and give the ball where it's supposed to go. And he did on that play. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's our home team here in possession of the football as we come back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right. With 1.57 to go in the ball game. Ready, this is a ready. big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. And he's got his man. It's the tight end, got him. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Damn. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Looks like he'll throw here. And it's caught. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Come on, set. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. Well, he'd be 
been targeted quite a bit on this drive. And finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They stopped the double coverage on him. Made it very tough for him to get the ball. On third down, here's Etienne. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Travis Etienne. They said beginning of the season they wanted to get past the wild card round. Well, they just got past the wild card round. How about that? Being able to put the big... stages of the game here in the fourth quarter as this offense takes over first and ten. On second and twelve, Willis. Out route pass complete to Goddard. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. A give running right, ETN. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. He lost two, and it brings up four. Fourth down, Willis. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. They go for it on fourth down, and it pays off big time as they pick up 29. So after the big play on fourth, here's first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Touchdown! A 14-yard touchdown. And the bats are drawing... Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Their hopes of advancing past this divisional round hanging by a threat, if that, as they begin here with a first and ten on the wrong side of the scoreboard. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. So following the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 25. Allen. Safety valve here. That's complete. And from the 25, they work this to the 29. A gain of four. The Bills on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities. Three for nine. This will be third and six. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. It's a pickup of 17 on that one and a Bills first down. 
Allen to throw once more. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's going. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now Cook, he's got it off the draw. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Now Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. So still throwing here in the fourth quarter with a pretty sizable. So they stay alive in the NFL. Super Bowl, and we'll know soon enough which team that'll be as we are underway in the AFC title game. And here's Jakeem Grant from his end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they will be led out by their signal caller in his second year of the NFL now. Now ETN to start the drive. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That'll wind up as a loss on the play. So now they're staring at a third down and 12. Well, they went back to him, but the results were similar. So I highly doubt that he'll get another opportunity here on third and one. Three and out, a real danger here on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 12. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. There's another example where defensive coaches constantly preach, not allowing any run after the catch. They give up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. On first down, right back to ETN. We'll get this up to about the 44. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Speed is the name of the game when it comes to RPOs, and sometimes you can be a little too quick, thus inaccurate, incomplete. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he fires one, but incomplete. Not the opening possession they were looking for, especially on the road. No doubt about it, because they wanted to come out and establish a little momentum right away. But now bringing up a fourth down, an empty possession, not what they were seeking. That's to his running back, complete. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. I don't know if I agree with that. I guess they don't care if I agree with that. But, boy, you have to be surprised by that, right? I definitely was surprised that they decided to go for it in this situation. But they must have either felt like they either had a great play call on or they're trying to show extreme confidence. 
Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. Nice progress down the field. Was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. And he's corralled at the 40, but now the four picking up eight. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. He can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. And they'll go jet sweep to try to pick it up. And a promising start as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. An effective 10 yards there takes us back to first down. But part of why that play works is because the defense has to freeze because they don't know whether he's going to hand it off or keep it himself. And this time, how about that sleight of hand there? Gives it to his wide out. And that indecision defensively, boy, it hurt him in a big way. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. Well, I sure wouldn't be surprised if we see more of this as this game goes on because we know they like to use their wideouts either on quick throws or on jet sweeps like what we just saw there. And to say that that one worked well, partner, that's stating the obvious. And here he'll get it down to the seven. All that for a two-yard gain, second down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area. But they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they miss like the matchups they're getting. From the five-yard line, with this opening drive yield six, this is third and goal. No gain on the play that time, so a big stop, and it's going to leave him with a fourth and goal. Interesting decision. I can see if you're on the one-yard line, push it in, you're at home, but I don't know from this distance. How far would you push it? Two-yard line, three-yard line? Because we're, I mean, we're beyond the four. So this is what we're talking about now. This is a long way. And I know it's a disappointment to come away without getting a touchdown after that drive. But touchdown! Dallas got her. A five-yard touchdown. And the bats are on the board first here in this AFC Championship game. Forget about the storylines of being intimidated in the playoffs on the road. I mean, that was pretty clinical right there. Yeah, they didn't treat it like it was a playoff game in January, did they? No. Look. That felt much more like, hey, we're back in August, running a few drills in the practice field. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to spring together with a nice drive and help themselves out. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The offense on third down, just one for five to this point. This will be third and six. Eluding the pressure right. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Again, he'll drop to throw. Right side complete. That's Woods. So just three yards on the completion there. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Straight ahead, ETN. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. It's a nine-yard gain, and it'll keep the drive moving. 
I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. I think the reason this play is so successful is not just the blocking at the point of attack, but how about the speed at which he takes the handoff? He's in motion already, so he's not coming from a flat start like a running back often is. He's in a full run by the time he gets the football. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. Three yards is the game that time, second and goal. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. I see the surprise in the face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion for him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. A pretty big play now in this AFC Championship. Third and goal. And they'll go jet sweep to try to pick it up. No gain on the play. And what to do now on fourth and goal. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the bat's decision to go for it pays off with six points. That touchdown run, it was just straight power on power on fourth and goal, and the offense won. Yeah, let me just follow up with you because we always talk about how the low man wins, who has the best leverage in the trend. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have. And think back to our meeting with the head coach. And we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? We said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's going to slow us down much. We tend to handle it pretty well. And he's been right. Rolling to his right. Going across the middle, and Goddard's got it. And they work this well up field across the 45. That one good for 26 and a first down. On play action, they'll throw. Forced out to his left. The ball comes out. And this is going to get out of bounds. So they will gain a bit of yardage on the play, actually. And they'll hold on to the football as well. Second and nine now. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Ready, Hurry, Looking to throw. And no 